Welcome to the show, boys. Um, you know, what have you guys been up to this couple last couple of weeks? Have you guys been like training for the season? I mean, what's been going on in your worlds? Let's start with you, Chad. I, uh, I've been doing a lot of hiking up and down mountains um, just because I enjoy it. And it should help out for splitboarding and hiking this winter and landings and just staying healthy. And I went to a premiere last night in Aspen. Good times. Um, did that. They do kind of just premiere some local movies. But besides that, just kind of hanging out, waiting for winter to hit. Cool. Well, we can talk about that premiere during our our news section but uh yeah i think that's that sounds like you're uh just a few weeks away maybe just a couple yeah you know exciting stuff yeah how about you bjorn what have you been up to man just anticipating winter um been in the office a lot working on capturing more sales getting more people on cardiff board so definitely calling a lot of shops which is cool it's nice to get the beat on what's going on uh, out there around the country. And then uh, lately, well, the last, this weekend here, I had an excavator. We are working on the backyard snowboard park, uh, kind of taking it to the next level, which is pretty exciting. So, yeah, all in all, just uh, hanging out with the kids. Um, been a couple hikes up in the mountains as well, up, up by Alta. And, uh, yeah, man, just – couple little cold nights feeling it ready for winter right on well uh you know i think I, well i've been walking at least i don't know one to two miles a day i don't know if that's enough though i don't know if that's going to get me in shape for snowboard season but certainly i feel like it's coming it's getting colder certainly so yeah looking forward to that but anyhow you know we have like an interesting show in store today because i thought that it might be cool to you know, do a little bit deeper dives on some stuff, but also take a look at some of like the new releases, some of the new teasers for this season. So I actually uh, got some videos queued up for you guys. And, uh, and so we'll watch those movies. If you're listening on audio, I'll cut out the part where we watch the movie and then we'll get into the commentary afterwards. So our first movie is going to be by SRD. It's called Simulation. So let's go to that teaser right now. Check this out. Looking good, buddy. Yo, my angle's hitting right now, bro. What's your takeaways from at least what you saw right there? Um, it was like a, a jib movie. I think every city should have their own jib movie, local yep. jib kit movie. Looks pretty cool. 
Yeah, I thought that yeah. was pretty cool as well. Canadians, right? Those guys yep. were, uh, they stepped to some big features for sure, which is cool. Yeah, totally. I, I'm just stoked to like see guys that I don't really know of yet. You know, I didn't recognize like really any of the names on the, the list when I watched the teaser. So that just gets me stoked, man, that there's just so many more people on the come up. And But yeah, I mean, there, that's some rad stuff in there. Yeah, I thought that that looks like a pretty promising movie. Or if you're into street riding, you know, I think that they, uh, the SRD crew, those guys definitely put out some nice edits. Let's cue up another teaser. This one is um, from Jake Aronson out of Wenatchee. Uh, I believe he's in Wenatchee and uh, in Washington. But anyhow, this is his teaser called Fuck Viz. It's available right now. You can go to his Patreon page. Pay two bucks a uh, to see this movie. He's trying to raise some money, but we'll we'll get you guys on the flip side of this one. So check this out, Jake Aronson. Okay, guys, what did you make of Fuck Viz? That was from Jake Aronson, Wenatchee. You know, not a lot in the teaser, but I'd say that uh, Jake is a really popular rider, has a pretty good following. I like that they started it off with just eating massive amounts of crap. (laughs) Because I can relate to that. Because, I mean, I definitely have done that a ton. So anytime you see that right off the bat, it gives you respect for every landed clip. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. What did you make of that one, was, Chad? I, I like street clips in Wenatchee. I don't know. I mean, what is that? Stevens Pass? Like, what are the resorts are up Mission there? Ridge. Pretty cool Mission that those Ridge kids are ripping around there. One. They got a lot going on. Um, yeah, they're at Mission yeah. Ridge, but I don't think Joy they actually Joy Rogers home. So. Right on. Yeah. Okay, guys, we got another teaser queued up for you guys. And it's going to be the Man Boys movie. And so, I don't know, this is another interesting one, I would say. What did you guys make of the the new Man Boys teaser? Let's start with you, Chad. Yeah, uh, makes me want to be able to cross the border. Um, <laughs> right. And see now, you're, it looks like your Canadian backcountry super launcher movie. Uh, they did one last year that was really good too. Um, I'm pretty excited to see Eric Jackson shred. He's always one of my favorites. I don't know how he crossed the border, but. Uh, Maybe he was already up there or something. Who knows? But him and Jody Washniak rips it too. You know. Yep. He's uh, I think he's got his own podcast too, doesn't he? Yeah, airtime. Oh, yeah, I know. Airtime. I want to go across the border. That's right. Looks good to have like good times. 
Man, it looks like they yeah, had that... some pretty good snow. Those guys look like the funnest crew to go film with. They just they just have all the zones dialed up in Whistler and and the Revy, and then you got Rusty, who's you know does the edits and always pulls off like a super clean edit. Uh, yeah, the Man Boys. It'd be cool if, if some Americans like us could go up there with Ejack. <laughs> right. <laughs> But that that sort of sort of snowboarding gets me the most hyped because it's technical freestyle tricks, you know, and big terrain, you know, natural stuff like that front side three, front sevens. Like, I don't know. I I feel like this is kind of like the driving force of snowboarding to me, freestyle snowboarding. Right. I mean, this is pretty advanced, right? You have like your street stuff, but eventually, guys who ride street find powder and realize it hurts less. And so, I mean, you started on the street. Both of you guys, uh, you know, filmed on the street. And now you guys focus more on the powder, let's say. Yeah, you can ride for more than 50 feet, you know. Like when you go hit rails, you go drop and hit the rail and you stop. It's just not very uneventful. I like the flow of constantly riding down the hill. Yeah. Hard True story. Ride. Yep, for sure. Okay, well, we have, as a segue into our new segment, I have this next video for you guys. Intertook's open this weekend. Right, guys and uh so hintertux the first european park open for the fall and i don't know i mean I, i've also seen some clips we may see that in our clip show but uh you know what, what do you guys make of the fact they are full-on riding again in europe as of october 1st i'm jealous that's for sure it looks insane it looks so fun and I don't know if let's let's jump on a flight, Chad. Let's get your new yeah. GoPro sponsor over there. <laughs> Fun does a trip. Put the melon cam on. That looks like midwinter. I know there's a bunch of people in Sauce right now too. I went over there in 2002 uh, with 32 uh -huh. in October, and they had their park going then too. Same exact spot. Um, maybe the jumps were probably about 30 feet shorter, but it's still a good time. And that town Meyerhofen is like as Austrian as it gets in the mountains. So it's like, or hinder talks too. It's, yeah, I'm jealous. I mean, it's kind of why I'm still involved in snowboarding. Cause maybe one day, like we'll be on that schedule where you have to go there every October to do some sort of random shoot, but you never know, you know? Right. So. Well, it looks like a good time and it seems like that, uh, things are more normal in Europe than they are here in the States anyway. I mean, we're still restricted from going to Canada and, and I know that there's actually a bunch of Americans over there, but they all got subject to like a 14 day quarantine when they arrived in Europe. So they just basically flew to Europe and then posted up in hotels. Is that why you're only seeing the Canadian team? Just like on an Instagram at Sasfe, exactly. it. No, you, if you look at like, um, you know, Toby Miller and Sean White and uh, JJ Thomas are over there, but they've been quarantining right. for like two weeks. So it's like they haven't started riding. There's a bunch of guys actually over there right now. So kind of interesting that, uh, you know, not everyone gets to come out of COVID the same way, you know, and I think that everyone, at least that I know, really is looking forward to the snowboard season here. And so they've been really careful. But uh, but certainly, you know, Americans, America is not viewed in the, the same light as the rest of the world as far as our handling of COVID goes. So kind of a little disappointing, but it would be nice to be over uh, at Hintertooks right now. So uh, 
Anyhow, I guess that brings us to our news. And we have, I mean, there is actually some pretty big news this week. Aside from, you know, the uh, Hintertux opening, I guess there was something going on at Trollhagen this weekend. Uh, what do you know about that, Bjorn? Yeah, they did their annual kind of kickoff where they basically put a couple of rails up and then uh, have shredders there to hit them. And it looked pretty fun. There's a bunch of the, you know, the reps all show up and then, you know, kind of the local scene. So I just saw a little bit on Instagram, but I haven't seen an edit or anything because I think it was yesterday and today. Okay. And why weren't you there, Chad? <laughs> Because I had to go to a premiere last night in Aspen. Um, otherwise, I totally would have been there. No problem. Okay. Um, 